Uh, I need to speak the line. Yeah, sorry. Hi, hello to you, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is. I felt like doing a wee get ready with me um, in English because I feel like I don't speak too much about myself in English. I've got <clears throat> a little bit of new makeup to try. I got the Raw Beauty Christie Pure collab while I was up north in Scotland in holidays. She looks absolutely lovely. I thought I could play with that green because I've got this new ball green dress and with this a bit more leaning turquoise green. I just thought we could just um, chat a bit, relax together. And yeah, you can get ready with me. So we can get ready together. You can grab yourself a warm cup of something. Let's get started just before that. If you don't know how I am, hi, my name is Armand. I like makeup, I like skincare. I also like not feeling exhausted constantly. So if you like any of these three themes or a combination of them, uh, feel free to subscribe for more similar content. I post in English, I post in French. Let's get started. If I don't mention a product, if I don't say what it is, it will be listed in the description box. So, how are you doing, folks? I'm gonna use the uh, Urban Decay Primer Potion to prime my eyes. Today is, what day is it? Is it like Friday, 6th of November? So it's still going through the election in the US. Uh, I'm sure it's very stressful for the season, because it's already for me, and I'm not even a season there. Cool, well that kind of uh, rest, I'm gonna just prime my face, because I feel like I could use a bit of hydration. So I'm gonna use the Puff Puff Primer from ELF. On my side, I'm doing all right. I'm actually doing quite good, which wasn't the case in the past few months. I'm still like exhausted, but like if you put in relative state compare like compared to like a few months ago, I'm doing quite okay, especially considering the state where we are in Scotland, which is uh, like not a huge deal, but it is everywhere for me. Is you know we're getting closer to winter, so like the sun starts saying at like 4 p.m. I still don't know where we're still going into like um, GMT zero. That doesn't make sense to me because it's like yeah, the sun goes down at like half three in the middle of winter. Like what the hell? Um, trying to new setup things have been kind of changing a lot for me in this room. Uh, because just behind you there is uh, my desk where I work from home, been working from home, I feel very privileged and very lucky that I'm able to do so and probably will be able to do so for quite a while, which is a huge privilege, I think. Let's go on into eyeshadow. I haven't played tons with it. I ordered it when it was like the last kind of, they still had a little bit of stock, which I was super excited because there are actually quite a few shades I wanted to get, I like these tones here. They're absolutely beautiful, which weirdly enough, I don't have in any of my palettes, which I know is surprising. This tone here is like everything. And on the other side, we've got the colorful side. And what I really wanted to do is because I've got that green bottle dress, I probably used that green here. I thought it was a bit more like that green, but it's okay. I'm gonna see how it works, you know? I can't st I can't I can't stop spending this. It smells like vanilla or something, which I'm surprised because there's no fragrance in everything. But I'm gonna start with I think I'm probably gonna start with like some sort of transition shade. I think I'm gonna pick up uh copper boxes, which is that is a transition shade. I've been in holidays recently and I don't know if I insert a few clips, but I filmed the sea, so we went up north. For those who don't know, I live in Edinburgh in Scotland, in the UK. <laughs> if you don't know what Scotland is, exactly what it is. <laughs> My partner is from up north. We went on holiday together to visit his family. And because of the COVID-19 situation, uh, we had to arrange things because in Scotland, you're not allowed to, to 
going to other people's home. So we had to uh, arrange an Airbnb, which actually was absolutely lovely because we had a view on the sea, which is just, I'm obsessed with the sea up north in Scotland. This is the most soothing thing in the universe for me. I just love that. So yeah, it was just really lovely. And we did a few stops. So we stopped halfway through uh, in Inverness. And then going back, we uh, stopped in Pit Lochery. Pit, Pit Lochery, I can't say this. Very, very soothing, relaxing. We didn't have too much to do, which was actually perfect. We just chilled and did a lot of things. I've edited enough videos to be able to like publish them for like about a month um, every week, just trying something. And I'm actually trying to see if I can keep up that rhythm or not with my full working time. I'm gonna switch sign, going to the colorful sign. I'm gonna pick up Garden State, which is the green here, on the same brush, I think. I'm just gonna pack this into the crease, I think. Mm. Mm. Does this match? I don't think it does, but that's okay. It's still kind of, you know, the same kind of tones. It's okay, it's fine. You know what, I think I'm just gonna pack this all over the lid. Basically, the thing is, uh, I kind of, fell into a state where I haven't been able to work. Basically in August, my mood has been slowly going downhill. We're a small company where I work and I just, I think I feel very responsible for things. I just haven't been able to be like, oh, I just need to take time for myself. But basically it had to be my boss, who's an absolutely lovely person, had to say, Armand, you need to take time for yourself. I think this is not going well. And she was right, so I ended up taking some holidays first and then I've been signed off work uh, from my doctor. She have given me time to start treatment, uh, start therapy, just with an incredible psychologist. Absolutely love her. Uh, I'm gonna keep planning this. So now I'm back to work. I think I've been off for about a month. It was really weird for me because I've never really been off work like this, but it was good and I'm very grateful. My boss has been very understanding. Actually, my entire work has been very understanding and very supportive, so it's been a lovely experience. Um, so yeah, that's what's been going on. I just I think I haven't been able to cope with the entire world situation. Thank God I live in a country that is, I think, responsible when it comes to the handling of the COVID-19 situation, Scotland, not the UK or England. It's just throwing that out there. I really don't know what I'm doing here, to be honest. Also, I had a friend, very close friend of mine, who basically came out as a turf to me, or to my friends, or transphobe, if you prefer that term. Uh, which sucks, uh, I'm gonna be honest. And I think my, my brain is just gonna be kind of like, it's just snapped at that moment. It's just gonna be like, all right, okay. Obviously I think that was pretty traumatizing for my brain even if I'm kind of like, I got, I had lots of support for my friends. I think it really helped kind of, you know, it just shows how much connections are very important to ourselves. Talking a bit about that subject, I'm kind of, working on more on my social transition, which is why I've got this dress. I ordered some clothes last week. Actually, I didn't panic. I didn't have a major mental breakdown over them. They fit me. I feel good in them. It just was a very pleasant experience, which is probably why I feel quite good now. So I think what I'm gonna do is take the other side of the brush and pack Camelot, the mustardy yellow, into my inner corner or my inner third of my lid. It was very unexpected uh, seeing my friends, so I think that's probably why it was also quite traumatizing, because obviously I wouldn't be friends when that is a piece of keka. I'm also taking on the point of my brush and kind of packing it up there, because I'd like to have a bit more of that uh, shape, you know, if that makes sense. I kind of fancied adding new Not My Real Dad, the brown, because I thought it would be nice with the foresty green. I think what I might do is just, yeah, I think I'm just gonna deepen the outside, you know, 
So I'm gonna pick up like a small detail brush. This is a Sigma E21. I'm gonna pick up the color and kind of do a wee liner situation, smoky liner, you know. Uh, I'm gonna smoke out the other tank because it's something I've been really enjoying doing. Uh, let me do that on the other side. I'll come back to you in a second. Voila, and what I'm gonna do is just um, pick up, I forgot to say the brush I was using earlier is the Danian Tools 776. I think it's the blending brush. I'm gonna pick up the 783. I think it's a small tapered brush. Brush, brush, blush, brush. I'm just gonna kind of smoke out the outside by doing a small circle here. So I got my pickup, just a tiny bit of, you know, my real dad to help it smoke out a bit and just kind of give a bit more of that definition outside. Just kind of doing the other V, you know, slightly deeper on the outside. These shades are extremely blendable. They are lovely. They're so pigmented, especially the colorful side. Uh, I do find this one gets, you do need a little slay more builder, but they do get like that kick of pigment when you actually build them in place. I'm just gonna clean up the, my eyeshadow work with a little bit of primer, a razorable comb round. Yeah, I've been trying different setup for filming, which has been a bit, difficult because uh, I don't have a proper, proper studio thing, especially right now, because the sun goes down quite early, and I have to film quite early as well. Um, so I have to figure out how to get light in because I'm using mostly natural light, but I did put up a light now because I'm a bit further than the window. But I think that's quite nice actually because you get quite a neutral background it definitely feels a bit more like a studio, that way I feel like, or more like a filming setup, if that makes sense. My brain is really mush and it's so difficult to speak in English for me because, you know, the whole the situation that was 2020 completely mush up your brain and apparently your brain just reacts by deactivating speech things. So that's why I struggle to speak not only in English, but also in French. So there already is something I struggled with in the first place. So it's like, what the hell? <laughs> Sorry. Cool. Um, let's do uh, what I want to do. I'm going to color correct my dark circles using Jane Ardell concealer. Uh, I think it's the Enlightened concealer. Just placing that under my eyes. Where my dark circles are. It's been really nice because I feel like I get some, I get to properly film, which I think is something that helps me in life as well. So hopefully I'm, I'm just hoping I manage to kind of get a bit more interaction and people to discover my content. Because uh, I think I, I like the idea of connecting with people, having kind of sharing a community around makeup and stuff. Because I think I, I don't have a lot of people to share that with. By a lot of people, I mean no one, pretty much. Uh, I mean, people that are like passionate about makeup, obviously people enjoy, like, um, they might enjoy my looks and things, but it's nice to have, you know, um, someone that is very much into makeup as much as you are skincare or whatever. So yeah. Meanwhile, I'm gonna do my kind of foundation mix. So, uh, foundation today, I'm going to be using the um, Anastasia uh, Luminous Foundation. Absolutely love this. I'm so glad I bought it. And what I'm going to use with this, I'm going to mix a just a little bit of the CYO Life Proof Foundation in, one or two, in 101. Sorry. This is just to ever so slightly light, lighten up the foundation, but mostly to make it look a bit smoother on my forehead and stuff. Yeah, as I was mentioning, I'm kind of starting to work on my social transition thingy. So clothes, I think that was a big step. I'm also kind of thinking about changing name. Um, and I asked my parents if they would be interested in helping me pick a name. Um, 
But fortunately, they said they weren't interested, which is a bummer. They're a bit happy to like use a new name, which I, I appreciate, but it's just that they're not interested in doing this together. So, yeah. Just gonna blend that out with my sponge. This is the elf sponge, by the way. I never say, but these purple ones I have, they're usually the elf ones. The reason why I want to wear Luminous Foundation is because I've got a glowy powder I'd like to try and see if I can actually... Basically, the issue is I like having a Luminous Foundation, but if I use a Luminous Foundation, I cannot use any powder because it's gonna set. So I bought some cream products, which is nice, but cream products doesn't work great in this current state that we are in where we need to constantly wear masks. So ideally, I hope I can have a glowy setting powder, which I could use to then set my face, but keep a glow, and then use powder and mix everything less, a bit more transfer proof and all that good things. So yeah, that's what I'm hoping. So if you have any suggestions of names, neutral names, I should say, I could have, um, let me know if there's anything you like. I'm trying to think about that, but yeah, it's kind of difficult making a decision on your own, which is probably why probably will involve my close friends because they do seem to care about my transition, which is a nice thing, you know. I mean, if there's any specific content you'd like to see on my channel, uh, I'm trying to do more makeup tutorials because that's what I want to do. Because uh, I want to help people that don't know about makeup to be able to start doing makeup because I was completely lost when I started and it took me a while to understand how things work. I, I think I struggled to find anywhere. I'll probably start with Siri in French about it, because I feel like French is pretty a bit more niche. I feel like English is more likely to find tutorials and stuff, but in French maybe not. But I think I, I want to do also makeup tutorials, because I think they're a very good way of learning things. I just like creating looks. That's mostly what I'm into. Um, but yeah, if there's other, other sort of content you like to have around skincare, makeup, all the things, let me know. Let's do some concealer. So I'm gonna use the Emma Beauty Steelwork Concealer. Use a bit on the, on, the, uh, on the outside to kind of help clean up and lift the eye as well. Something I love doing. I love this concealer. I've been using it pretty much every day. I love using it as like, um, when I'm not, I don't have time to do like the full face of makeup, so I just do, uh, oops, I didn't blend properly the foundation in my nose. I like using it with just my corrector, and it gives me like coverage I need, but it's still very natural. I can also use it over my face if I want to cover a bit of redness or some spots. It's very beautiful. About clothes and stuff, I bought things from ASOS. I'm hoping I can buy from other places because I prefer buying clothes that are better quality, that are like, you know, more aesthetically made and stuff. So I'm hoping it's something I can find. I can find, I, pro, I chose ASOS because it was inexpensive, it was a good way to start with, especially they got lots of big sizes. So it's a lot easier for me to shop with. And actually I've been able to find my size, which is great, um, which I think helps a lot kind of figure out thing. So I bought some kind of like mom jeans because uh, I feel like I realized that a lot of things are a bit shorter for women in like vertically. So um, it's nice to have mom jeans so I don't, you know, expose my tummy to everyone because well, me, <laughs> regular tops are just kind of crop tops, you know. I bought some crop tops actually just one, like a hoodie sweater situation. I bought two of these uh, oversized sweater dress kind of situation, jumper dress, uh, which is great because all of that is like very neutral. It's just in the neutral, so it helps me kind of experience with new clothes without panicking and feeling like a monster. 
sorry. It's, I feel very good. It's very nice to take out clothes that used to make me very uncomfortable and replace them with something where I'm really excited about and just feel good about. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try that. That's a new product. And that's the pad I've been talking about. That's the Milani Prep Set Glow Press Powder. I said it's illuminating, so hopefully it is. Uh, I bought this because actually I don't buy, which is why I want to do more to makeup tutorials as well. It's just that I don't buy new makeup as much. I'm trying to reduce a lot of how much I buy. I prefer using up what I have, especially because I don't put on makeup that often. I, I barely finish anything. Uh, I mostly finish mascaras and saying spray. I don't even finish mascaras. I just throw them out. That was a big spit, wasn't it? Sorry. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is just use um, this uh, brush. This is the Tapered Contour Brush 944 from Dillion Tools. And I'm gonna use this to kind of buff the powder and also set my under eye. So I'm gonna pick up a bit. That I went into my dress. I also need to learn how to sit with a dress without showing my pants to everyone. Or underwear, as you say, in the US, or briefs, or whatever. Just gonna buff that to my skin to kind of set everything. I think I went through a period where I was kind of like, what's the point in life as well? Because it's like, it's difficult. Um, I don't really want to become an influencer, but I think I'm hoping that I could maybe have enough in an audience where I could have some sort of revenue coming from doing makeup. Because I think it's just, I like my job, but I'm really exhausting myself to it. And this feels more like a work where I feel more flexible in terms of hours and just how I function and work and, and all these things. And it's just, I feel like it would work better for my mental health. So I start, I, we, I'm looking into having one day off every week. I used to have one day off every two weeks. So that's what I'm working on for like part-time because I think I just can't physically function in like a five week work and just not feel constantly exhausted. It's just not possible. And especially I'm worried I might go back into a state where I don't, I'm not happy because I'm just not doing, because uh, basically I'm exhausting myself to work and I don't have enough energy to invest into things I want to do as like makeup and things and be creative and feel like my life has a purpose, which is uh, why it's important for me to kind of take time for myself. Cool. And um, I'm gonna pick up a huge favorite of mine, which is the Silky Matte Bronzer from Milani in sunlight, just for a slightly cooler kind of bronzer will work well with this slightly cooler looking eye. I'm just gonna sculpt a bit of this. Yeah, the, the powder definitely kept the glow. I quite like that. It um, doesn't look overly great from my clothes, but surely nothing it spritz of sink spray cannot fix. The issue is I think for makeup, it's difficult to have, like, make a revenue of it, you know, where that feel both comfortable and works for me and where I can be creative, but also, um, that is viable and that I feel is ethical and okay with my own beliefs. So the issue is like a lot of things would be if I wanted to like, make a revenue of it, I will have to be basically, for example, an influencer or content creator on YouTube and get money off advertisement. However, I really don't feel comfortable with advertisement because I feel like it's, I would rather people have a choice into that. I feel like because advertisement is becoming such a big thing, advertisement is like, there is more and more, it doesn't seem to stop, just like in general, more things with capitalism. YouTube was like, you had one advertisement before video, then now it's two, and then now it's like in the middle. It's like, you can't skip them. It's all of that. It's just, I don't know, my my brain really feels like exhausted from all that stimulation of like, 
Parkinson advertisement. But at the same time, it would be like the only revenue viable, constant way of getting revenue of YouTube or like of creating content. So that's why I find it a bit difficult of like, what do I do to do something I love doing and be able to eat, live, basically, be able to have a, a roof and all these things. Let's do blusher, blush, blusher. I've got this Milani uh, powder blush. These are like the rose blushes. I can't remember what they're called. This is the shade Romantic Rose. This looks quite light a bit pinkier than I thought, but I think I'm gonna quite like it because I like also saw blush from time to time. Let's see. Is it ever gonna show up on me? That's the question. I think that's a very good kind of very natural blush, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I feel like I'm repacking really this on. It's still very so. I think you know a good neutral matte blush that's cruelty free. Let me know. I'm sorry, I'm switching between five subjects at a time. I'm trying to reduce how much I buy. Basically, I'm trying to buy new makeup only if it's like something that's actually bringing something new to my collection. Uh, so that's why I got that pressed powder that's luminous because I don't have a luminous pressed powder. I don't have a luminous or a pressed powder that I like. And yeah, I'm just trying to because pressed powders are very handy to travel with. Let's do a bit of highlighter. I've got this. Um, Moonlighter highlighter from Black Moon Cosmetics and this is the shade Glow Warm which is that slightly greeny reflect um, highlighter. It smells like, according to my partner, it smells like Shepherds I think it's called. I just don't know what it is. I feel like I know that smell but I don't know what Shepherds is. I need to pray look up. <laughs> I don't know if that was quite the right highlighter for this look, but that's okay. Cool, uh, shall we move on to the lower lash line, which I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do. So just to start, I'm gonna um, pick up You Know My Real Dad, which is the darker, cool brown. On a small detail brush, I'm just gonna trace that here. So I'm just, Go back into and just slightly buff that, especially on the outside here, just because I don't want it to be super defined. Next, I'm gonna pick up Camelot, the yellow, mustardy yellow. Just pick up a bit. I'm just gonna run that on my lower lash line. Gosh, this is so pigmented. Lovely. And then I'm gonna pick up a bit more of uh, I'm gonna use the detailer brush again. So this time, uh, I'm just gonna go back into the brown, not additional product, and just kind of smudge it a bit to the yellow. This is, looks a bit smirky, yeah? And now I'm gonna pick up Told You, which is that lovely cognac, uh, orangey, warm brown. I'm just gonna run that where the yellow is following my kind of lower lash line. I'm blending it into the tone brown. Maybe I should have just done some green on the lower lash line. I don't know. You know what, I might just bring a bit of the green. So what I might just do, it just kind of here I don't know if that was a good idea, but uh, pick up my blending brush from my and just kind of match this. I'm gonna use a small blending brush and just um, go into my whole heart, which is the cream light shade. I'm just gonna go here to kind of help blend the green. I'm gonna use um, a ELF contour brush and I'm gonna pick up Golden Ticket, which is the golden shimmer of the palette. I'm gonna use that for my inner corner. And let me just give a good sing this moment. 
I bought the Cover FX uh, High Performance Saint Spray. Let's try this. That looks like a very thin mist. I love this. I forgot my thing to kind of fan myself. Uh, feels a bit sticky for now, but I'm gonna give it a little while to kind of dry. I'm gonna do mascara, uh, liner, lashes, all that good stuff. Put on the lip, and then uh, we'll reconvene for the end stuff. Yeah, cool. Okay. Hello, hello back. Um, I put on some lashes. Uh, the style I went for is. Um, Natalia Light from House of Lashes. Uh, you can't see from here, but I'm just showing you the box. <laughs> I kind of put them a bit on the outside. I'm just gonna finish by, I thought I would join you to just do lips and then could conclude and say goodbyes and all this good stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the beanie because it keeps pulling up, sorry. So for lips, I'm gonna use a dose of colors lip liner in nitty gritty. I've got a question for you. How do I sharpen this? I know there is this at the back. I try using it and all I did is just pull out a big chunk of the liner and it was still not sharpened. I'm very confused. Like seriously. I know I've seen online that you can kind of like rub it on the side but just, I don't know. Oh, and that big chunk, I tried to put it back, but it just doesn't, ugh. I think I just need to take it off. It really upsets me. What's with retractable liners? Like, what's good about them? Seriously. Because you can't sharpen them. They, they're they not that practical. They're very creamy. It just kind of goes everywhere. It, I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. I'm so sorry. <sighs> sorry about my moon. By the way, if you want to have a moan, feel free to have one in the comments. Okay, that's not too bad, I think. And finally, for lips, I'm gonna go with Dust of Colors Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Mondays. And voila, that more or less completes the look. What do you think about this look? Uh, I don't really like it, I think it's very, very pretty. <laughs> Uh, I'm really glad I paired that lip with the eyes because I think it works very, very well. Feel free to have a wee rant in the comments. Uh, it's always good to kind of like talk things through. I hope you enjoyed that video where I talked a bit more about what's been going on with me and personal life and stuff and uh, updates a bit on the channel. Uh, I think as I was explaining about the whole uh, advertisement thing, Ideally, maybe I yeah, would feel more comfortable with like a donation-based system or like a Patreon or something like that. Uh, I don't know if it's something that people enjoy. Uh, let me know your thoughts on them uh, in the comments. And let me know in the comments if you have any feedback or anything you want to say. And as usual, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.